Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode 10 of my Colorado Rockies series here on Out of the Park Baseball 16. And today we're back for the mid-season episode in 2018. And today we are 27 and 27 coming into the first year player draft. So definitely a disappointing season to... Uh, at least so far, um, we're only five games out of the division, and we're actually only two games out of the wild cards. So we're still pretty much in it. Uh, yeah, two games. But um, really, it has kind of been a disaster from uh, two aspects. One, our pitching staff has sort of gone to, well, gone to crap. And uh, another big disaster is Jose Fernandez is pretty much out for the rest of the season. He ruptured a tendon in his finger. There is a chance he comes back for the postseason because the three-month timetable would put him at you know, around October 6, 2018, which means if we do make the postseason, we could see him back. But unfortunately, uh, it looks like his regular season is likely over. We're also missing Joey Gallo. He got hurt. Uh, he's been out for the last, yeah, actually about a month now. Uh, he's coming back in a couple of days, though. And Corey Dickerson got hurt as well. Uh, he got hurt uh, about two, three weeks ago, and uh, he is out for still another seven weeks. So we've suffered some pretty bad injuries, and we have been forced to play a lot of... Uh, you know, different guys like Isael Soto and Charlie Blackman. We have Blackman and Frazier platooning right now. And we also have Max George and Joe Panic platooning as Panic has kind of struggled so far this year. And George has come up and done pretty well. George is one of our top prospects and uh, we called him up and he is playing pretty well. So, all right. Anyway, we got the first year player draft though. So let's get into that. And we have the 29th pick this year. We'll see who is available at number 29. Does not look like it's a very good draft class. And yeah, it is not. Um... All right, so I know, ooh, cash case. <laughs> this guy, I remember this guy from a, a different save. Cash case, what a great name. But uh, all right, so yeah, this is not a very strong class. Let's go down, look at some of the OSA ratings. All right, CJ Brown. CJ Brown's pretty solid. Fine. All right, none of these guys are really projected to be that great by the OSA ratings. All right, so I think we'll go with CJ Brown in the first round. And we were, oh, actually, we were only looking at batters. Let's look at all players. Um, go back to the scouting director ratings. Jason Gonzalez. Okay, so not much is actually, I don't think he added any batters or any pitchers. Yeah, it didn't. So, all right, let's get CJ Brown. $1,800. We'll meet that demand. Next pick. All right. Um, let's look at OSA ratings. See what the top players are. Chase Pinder. Um, who else? Man, this draft class is pretty horrible. Um, what about David Hamilton? I saw his name. No, guess not. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, we have Walton, Nick Nicholas. All right. I guess we'll just let the uh, computer draft the rest of this because I really don't know who to pick because it's all pretty much bucket of crap. But uh. Anyway, so we'll let this simulate, and then we will probably, uh, one of the, I mean, there is, so I, I guess I could break down the team a little bit, because there is something, uh, I guess, uh, well, we made a couple waiver moves that I should show you, so like, I mentioned Todd Frazier, we picked him up, up him up off of waivers, two-star player at this point, making $720,000, figured to be worth a shot, but he's really been horrible since coming over, um, we also picked up, who did we pick up? Um, I, oh, oh, I know who we picked up, actually. I think he is, yeah, Ketel Marte, who used to be a five-star prospect, now is a four-star prospect, but we picked him up up waivers. He's a really good defensive player. He's actually played quite well uh, since coming over, although it's been pretty limited at-bats. But, um, yeah, because we have him and Max George, I kind of want to trade Rossell Herrera, who's in AAA still, and he's still a three-star player. He was a four-star player. But, um, and, man, we had an opportunity to trade him for Taiwan Walker, uh, from the Mariners, but that trade is off the table now. Walker is now a three star, is two and a half star player, um, but he's playing pretty well. He's pitching in their bullpen. I figured he'd be a good guy to get, but uh, Rafael Montero is another option. He's also pitching out of their bullpen. He's not doing as well, but his ratings are higher. But man, I thought I could get Taiwan Walker. That would have been nice, but I don't believe that offers on the table even for uh, Cattell Marte at this point. Although we can try for Herrera. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. What if we go to Marte, yeah, even then, it's uh, it's unlikely to happen, so it's unfortunate that trade's off the table, but um, yeah, so we do need to find pitching, because right now our offense is number one in baseball once again, 
first and run scored. Pretty much going to get that every time at, the, at this point. If, as long as we field a competitive offense, you know, I really won't have to worry about that too much. But the pitching, man, the pitching has been horrible. Corey Kluber and Hyunjin Ryu have been pretty big disappointments, which stinks. But I also don't want to overreact and just trade these guys away right now. Because, um, like, you know, I want to play relatively realistically. And, you know, we, we, went, we went out, we got these guys. Everyone bought their jerseys. Like, you know, they're here for, the, for you know, at least for more than just a couple months of the season. I mean, maybe we'll readdress at the end of the season. But, you know, for right now, they're staying here. Um, and, man, losing Fernandez really stinks. Lyles has been pretty good. He's backed up uh, uh, his last season with another good season. So he's probably uh, – well, okay, his demands were a little bit higher earlier. I still don't think we're going to re-sign him. We might be able to actually get a qualifying offer for him now. But Matt Sack and McHugh have also been horrible. Uh, Tyler Chatwood's in the bullpen with a 790 area. Like, our just we have no pitching. Like, it's literally uh, just nothing. And I, I don't know what there is out in free agency. I'm pretty sure all the good starters have been snatched up. I mean, yeah, these are all just prospects. Let's get the let's get overall. Yeah, I mean, look at that. There's really no one. I'll sign this guy, though. <laughs> I don't know why there are all those prospects in the uh, thing, but there always are. Uh, it's like a trading block. Yeah, I mean, no one's out there. I mean, Iwakuma, but he's hurt. A oh, fractured elbow. Jesus, no thanks. And uh, Brett Gardner's out there. $11 million a year. Oh, uh, yeah. So I really don't know what to do. Um, I guess we can just wait it out. Hope some of the pitching gets better and maybe simulate up until the international amateur market. I mean, right now, while we're... Uh, I mean, while we are not healthy we you know have to play some of our bench guys because like in the future i mean maybe you could trade soto or even joe panic for a starter i mean i wouldn't be opposed to doing that if we have max george and Catel Marte. i mean panic's a good guy but we he's been a good player for us in the past but you know we certainly have other options there so i wonder what kind of pitcher panic could get us but i mean you know i don't know we're not quite out of the race yet but it, it could start to teeter so we do kind of have to uh I feel like we kind of have to act either now or act soon if we want to stay in this thing, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what the, the Joe Panic offers are looking like, though. I'd be curious to see this because he really has not played well this year. We have Max George. We have Cattell Marte. And we have Russell, Russell, Russell Herrera. I think it's just Russell Herrera. I'm just going to start calling him Russell Herrera instead of Russell. But, uh, yeah, these are pretty similar offers to what we were getting for uh, Herrera earlier, Starling Castro. Um, I mean, some pretty notable players here, though. Annabelle Sanchez, you know, Rustin Castillo, and Brad Anderson. There's Lonnie Chisnall, Michael Brantley, Lance Lynn. The Indians have some starters. I kind of wonder how Jacob Turner's doing. Matt Carpenter, Cole Calhoun, Justin Upton, Carlos Santana, McCutcheon. Ooh, Tyson Ross. Mmm. Might have to look at that. Josh Harrison, Trevor Bauer. Ooh. From the Rays. I like that. And Jordan Zimmerman. Wow. Okay, so let's look at some of these guys. Yeah, Zimmerman I knew was going to be under this free agent contract, so I don't think I want to pay him that. Um, not when we can get potentially Trevor Bauer. Ooh. He's having a really good year, too. Holy smokes. I guess his FIP isn't that good, but that would be a, could be a good pickup. Um, and any of these guys, I wonder if we could pick up for Herrera, actually. Herrera and something else. Tyson Ross also available potentially. Oh, he's on his free agent contract though. All right, but let's go back to Trevor Bauer. Um, where'd he go? There he is. All right, so let's. What about the package centered around Herrera? Because I really want to trade Russell Herrera. And I'm wondering if we could do Herrera and something else. Um, Chatwood. Okay, that's an option. Let's go to... Oh, Jose Altuve is having a really good year, by the way. So, that's working out. One of the things that is working out this year. Jose Altuve. Uh, what about Colin McHugh? Uh, that didn't really move the needle. What about... Okay, so we can give up Matzek. Chatwood. I kinda, I think I'd rather give up Matzek at this point. He's uh, He hasn't been good for two straight years now. And at least Chatwood was good last year. I'd kind of like to see what he can do again given some regular turns in the rotation. I don't really want to give him up for Trevor Bauer. Um, yeah, Chatwood again. Dang it, really? They really want Chatwood. What about... Uh, could give up, like, Jackson Reitz or something. Yeah, that would <laughs> do it. 
Um, I don't really feel bad about giving up those Rule 5 draft picks if it means getting some starters because I sort of sort of got those guys in like not a cheap fashion, but, I mean, you know, I got them for nothing. So, we'll Swanner. Oh, yeah, we can give up Swanner maybe. Nope. Still no, still no doing it without Chatwood. All right, so I kind of want to keep Chatwood for now. I will move him back to the rotation, though, over McHugh. Oh, wait, actually, he just pitched, so he couldn't go until Ryu anyway. All right, so we'll do one more turn through the rotation to get Chatwood back in there. But, yeah, so, all right, I guess we will cut out here and probably some of that head till the international amateur free agent period. Oh. Um... All right, Clubhouse is running well, so we don't have to worry about that. Good. All right, so hopefully we'll turn it around, but all right, we'll see. So I'm going to cut out here. We'll get back to you guys on July 2nd, and all right. All right, so we are at uh, July 2nd here, and we are 37 and 30 now, seven and a half out of the division. We're five out of the wild card, the second wild card, that is. So things not going well right now. The pitching just has not done well enough to string together the wings, really. The wins, really. Although, hey, Goldschmidt got the player of the week, so that's pretty cool. But, uh... Yeah, man, it's it's uh, it's not looking good right now. Um, but let's worry about the international amateurs. So we don't have any restrictions this year, but it doesn't look like we're going to go over because there don't look like there are any expensive players worth getting. Um, just off of first glance at the class this year, Jorge Sanchez will go after for 150000 Uh Pancho Aragon, sure, give him 700000 uh, Cardin, yeah, sure, we'll go after this guy. Oops, offer contract. 150. Um, skip this guy for now. No, Norbert, or whatever. Let's get these two guys. 150, and Teddy Walcott. 150. Alright, and how much have we spent now? That is 1500 so we have 1500 left. We could try to get Coppola, although I'm not sure we could actually do it at this point. Let's go to the OOTP Scouting Association, though, and yeah, we can get maybe some of these pitchers. Oh, yeah, we'll get this guy for 150 Uh Cruz, we can go after this guy. He's got 80 contact potential, apparently. Um, we'll give him 300000 Crazy Legs Cruz, indeed. Uh, so he's been 1950 so far, so we can keep going. Do 150 to him. That's 2100. Uh, Casio, we can give 150 to. Uh, Reyes, yeah, we'll give him 200. That puts us at 245. So we got about 500,000 left to spend. And we'll spend it on this guy. We won't spend it all, but we'll spend uh, 150 on them. All right, and the rest we'll just keep. Uh, all right, and let's keep simulating here. We'll get up to the all-star break, see who makes the all-star team for us, and then go up to the trade deadline. Keep checking waivers here. Lose to the Mets. All right, so we get updates from some of these guys. Jesus Martinez. All right, so first, wait, let's go back. Oops. Um, all right, so Jesus Martinez. Oh, geez. All right, Aragon, Walcott. Martinez and Beaster. We have 1,500 for all those guys. Okay. Argon's definitely most important. Let's spend, let's actually do just like 1,200 on him. Um, all right, so we still have 30, 350,000. Skip Coppola. Um, so Walcott, we can give... All right, we'll choose one other guy. Who is it, Walcott or Martinez? Um, let's go after Martinez. So we'll give him the 350000 we have left. And there we go. That's 3000 bucks. Spent spent well. Spent wisely. All right, keep going there. Can we take two or three? No, we can't. I was going to say, could we take two or three from uh, New York? But we've already lost the first two games of the set. Man, I don't even know what it is. This team just doesn't win. I mean, like, even the games where our pitching shows up, we just don't hit. It's like one of those things where you just, you're just a bad team, you know, in ball games. I don't know what it is. <sighs> Man, this stinks. I really thought we were going to play well this year. Um, all right, expiring. Oh, okay, we got a lot of guys expiring. Uh, we definitely want to bring Bobby Schmidt back. 
or Bill Schmidt, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, all from that. Pitching coach. Um, nah, no way. He's been horrible this year. Bench coach. Um, bench coach. Um, yeah, we'll maybe we'll explore that. Team trainer. Um, we've been relatively healthy for the most part, so we'll bring back our team trainer. But I think bench coach and uh, pitching coach we might look to replace. Yeah. All right. Keep checking that waiver wire. Hey, there we go. We took two or three from Atlanta. It's a good start. Now Miami. Oh, someone got hurt. Someone's out for a week. So Joe Ortiz, I think. Yeah. It's fine. We'll just leave him in there. Yeah, we still got Chatwood in the rotation. Trying to have him bounce back. There's Rafael Yanoa, old friend. There we go. We swept Miami. Now we got Philly. I don't know when the All Star break is. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Oh, no. I forgot to turn baseball cards off. So this is going to take five minutes to load. Dang it. All right, so I'm going to have to cut out here once again, but I will be back. All right, and we're back. So the All-Star teams have been announced, and Jimmy Paredes is on waivers. I uh, will probably let him go. Um, but all right, let's, let's see who made it. Uh, oh, Trevor Bauer. He got me almost traded for. Or tried to trade for. Um, Jose Fernandez made it. Nice. <laughs> is he here? Nah, nah, we'll get other representatives. Uh, Tom J. Murphy. Oh, yeah, this isn't like going to be our entire offense, I bet. Jose Altuve. Uh... Okay, two of our two of our hitters. Not our entire offense, but whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, a couple hitters make it, but man, we got to uh, got to find some starters to get. I swear. But all right, so let's get past this All Star break. Can we take this last game? Yes, we can. All right, Ortiz off for setback. That's fine. Let's see, ooh, Patrick Corbin. Oh, I thought this was maybe Gregory Polanco, but Patrick Corbin got traded to the Braves. Huh. All right. Um, let's see, when's the All Star game? Altuve, nice. All right, and the National League wins. So there you go, Jose Altuve. He's having a really good year, which is very encouraging. Nice, we get Corey Dickerson back. That'll help. So we can send down. Yeah, we can send down Blackman. I had uh, Blackman and Soto pretty much switching off because uh, Blackman wasn't playing that well. I probably should have just played Soto every day, but whatever. Yeah, Soto wasn't playing that well either, to be honest. So, all right, Dickerson in there. Um, man, Murphy was one of our all stars. I don't, I don't even know if I could uh, move him down the lineup anymore. Maybe I should move Arenado down. Could move Dickerson up to like here and then swap these two. Yeah, maybe do that. Arenado hasn't hit that well this year. He's on base for six wins above replacement, though. Thank you. Thanks to his defense. And Panic's still not hitting very well. So, I don't know. I, I would be open to trading Joe Panic maybe for a pitcher at this deadline. Um, we'll see what the offers are again when we get to the... When we actually get... When we get to the actual deadline. Let's see if we're in it, first of all. I, I mean, I don't even know. Because, you know, if, if we don't... And I know we only have 10 days before the deadline. But if we don't win, like, 8 of these games, then I might just sell and trade Jordan Lyles. And, you know, I don't know. Trade some of our expirings. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't think we're going to turn things around here. I'm getting kind of skeptical. Split those first six. Then we got Seattle. We'll play these three against Seattle. Alright, two of three. Yeah, two of three. Alright. Um, Chaffin's on waivers. He's in Boston now. Interesting. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at the standings. See where we are. Eight games out of the division. I know we're at least three out of the second wild card. I think we're actually like six out. Yeah, we're five and a half out. I mean, I don't know. There's still time to make a run, I feel like. I mean, there isn't, you know, there's only two teams ahead of us. So, all right. I mean, Lyles, at the worst, we get a qualifying offer for him, I think, at this point. But let's see what a trade would bring us in. Because I, I would be willing to maybe just dump this year down the toilet and reset. Because I think, uh, I don't know, man, I, I, I uh, kind of, uh, e even like last night I was thinking about it after I uh, recorded and uploaded my episode yesterday, I was thinking, oh man, I don't know if I should have made all those moves and like getting Kluber and Ryu, like, you know, I probably got a little over anxious there, so, I don't know, I don't want to just overreact though, you know what I mean? Alright, no team offers one for one trade, that's great. What about Joe Panic? What about if we could get a starter for Joe Panic? 
And this isn't even a, you know, a selling move. This is just a move to try and make our team better now and next year. So, I don't know. I don't remember how many years left Panic has under uh, team control. I don't believe he gave him an extension. So, we'll see if the uh, moves of tra or the the offers have moved or uh, the offers have changed much. If we still got offered Trevor Bauer, I might uh, look at that again. But I don't know. We could also package the two and get an even better starter. We could package uh, like Herrera and Panic or something. Something I like of that. But alright, I do wish this would load. I've got to get going soon. You know what I mean? Come on now. Alright, there we go. So Roosney, Lance Lynn, Cole Calhoun again. Just nothing. We get Tulo back. Look at that. Playing first base now? How has Tulo been? Well, for one, he's playing first base. Ooh. That's kind of ugly. Alright, he was good that first year. But 2016, not so much. Yeah, he really is. He's been better this year, though. That's good. Be yuck. Um, all right, Tyson Ross. We can still get him. Michael Waka. Whoa. There's someone who's fallen off the map of the earth. Play of the earth, whatever. All right, his contract sucks, though. Uh, man. I guess Trevor Bauer is still not available. Now that he made an all-star team, I can hardly blame them. What if we gave them Herrera too? Oh, is Herrera hurt? He must be on the DL. Yes, he is. That's really bad timing. All right, well, let's see what else it would take to try and get Trevor Bauer. Chatwood, Madzek. Could do Madzek to get T. Bauer. So he was an all-star this year. He's having a pretty good year. Phipps not really that good, though. It's because of the home runs he's allowed. Yeah, he's got a 392 FIP in the AL. Uh, it's not really worth investing in, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I mean, AL effects versus playing in Colorado is kind of a interesting debate. But I don't know. We get for, okay, so we get Fernandez back in six weeks. I feel like if we added one starter, but I just don't know who that might be. Like, is anyone on the trading block? No, not really. Alright, I might have to just like initiate a trade and try and find one. So alright, I think I'm gonna go out and try and find a trade on myself, and then we will uh, see. I don't even know what trade it's gonna be. I mean, it could be dealing uh, Jordan Lyles or or getting another pitcher. I have no idea yet, but alright, we'll figure it out. Alright, so we did find a one trade we can make. Rafael Montero is basically being sold for nothing now by the Seattle Mariners. So I figured I would at least jump on this. I know he's really struggled this year, and he's a fly ball pitcher, so. You know, those guys don't usually do well, not only in course field, but also in this game in general. But we're also only giving up, like, literally nothing for him. Like, they're literally just giving him away. So, we'll pick him up. Why not? He's probably going to get waived in August anyway. Look at that. Corey Dickerson wins player of the week or whatever. But, um, all right, so that gives us one extra starter. But this is really just taking a flyer on a guy. I don't really want to walk away from the deadline with this as our only move. So... Let's wave in DFA Bonilla. Probably get him back down in AAA. Um, put Montero on the active roster. Pitching. All right, and then we'll put him in the rotation for Matt Zek. So Ryu's been good lately. That's good to see. He's actually been quite fine uh, on the whole this season. If we get Kluber to turn it around, that would be nice. Kluber. And then Chatwood's still really struggling. And, man, we need Fernandez. If we had Fernandez, that'd be... Pretty darn perfect right now, I would say. Let's get Ryu. We'll do Ryu, then Montero, because I think Montero's going to be ready to start. Actually, we'll we'll pitch Montero on uh, in a couple of days. And yeah, we'll do that. All right, so could still make another move for a starter. Um, we didn't move Panic yet, so we still have that to do if we want. Um, Let's take a look at Joe Panic for a moment here. How much service time does he have left? All right, so he only has... Actually, I think he's going to have two years after this one. So I don't really know. I mean, we could move him. I just don't know for who. All right, I guess I'll have to keep exploring then. All right, so I have found uh, a couple trades that I would at least like to show, and then one that I think I'm going to pull off, and it's a pretty big move. Um, it involves getting a pretty good starting pitcher on a last-place team. So we are going to go to the Oakland A's. And they're 35 and 64 right now. And let's actually take a look at their team history. 
kind of curious how they've done the last couple seasons. All right, so they made the playoffs in 2015 and 16, but weren't good last year and have really fallen off the map this year. And it looks like they're about to enter a pretty full rebuild. So we're going to go and get Sonny Gray from the Oakland A's. He is locked up on an extension for the next couple of years, so he's paid through his age, see, 29, 30, 31, 32 season. But he's still pretty highly rated, having a really bad year this year, but I have faith that he can turn it around. And so we're going to go after him, and we're going to give up Nate Causey, and I think I'm going to give up Corey Kluber in this as well. Uh, that way the money works out a little bit. Um, although I'm not sure. I feel like I should hold on to Kluber. I'm not really sure if I should give up Kluber in this deal or not, if it makes like sense sort of uh, from a realistic perspective. Like, I don't know. I guess I, I, I guess I should probably save the A's money and not give them Kluber because I can also give them, uh, you know, someone not nearly as good. Um... Wyatt. I mean, I'm basically just offering them Kluber for free, but let's uh, let's go back. I don't want to give up Salter. Um, and then there are a couple of Joe Panic trades that I found that I'm not sure if I should do or not. Um, I'll have to take a look at those teams a little bit closer. Now let's look at Wyatt. All right, we could give up Wyatt probably 19th round pick. But yeah, we're basically giving up Nate Kazi in this. One of the guys who picked up in the Rule Five draft. And, uh, yeah, he is a stud first baseman. It's, uh, you know, if we had a spot for him, I would totally keep him, but we really don't have a spot for him. So that's why I'm pretty down with giving him up. But as you can see, he's a really good player. So it's a really good rule five draft pick to get Sonny Gray out of it. Pretty darn good. Um, but all right. So, yeah, we'll pick up Sonny Gray. Like I said, we're going to pick up the tab on his contract as well. They're not going to give us any money for that. Um, we're going to have to pay out the remainder of that. Which means, uh, hopefully I will try and move Kluber and Ryu in the offseason then. Because I don't want to be paying uh, too much for all my starting pitching. <laughs> but, uh, alright, Jonas White and Nate Kazi for Sonny Gray. So we do that. And then, uh, the couple panic trades I found were with the Pirates. And the, uh, well I guess, I, don't know, I just went back to that Rays trade for Trevor Bauer. The thing with both of these teams is, they're both in first place. Actually, no, what am I saying? The, pitch, the Pirates are in first place. The Rays... Are in third place, but they're still in contention for a playoff spot. Um, like, yeah, they're only game out of the second wild card, so they wouldn't be uh, like they, this. This wouldn't be a rebuilding trade, but if these teams have a need in the middle infield, I could see them doing it. But okay, I don't really think uh, Geo Panic would play for this Rays team. What about the Pirates? Pirates. Um, I guess they could use another infielder. They have Hanson, Kong. Oh, Kong has really played poorly, and Harrison. So, yeah, I guess they could use Joe Panic then, but they don't have a lot of starting pitching, which is why I don't really quite know why they want to do this. But I guess Volquez, Stammen, Taylor Hill's been all right. I mean, Paxton, he hasn't been that good for them anyway. So I could see why they'd want to do this. Oh, yeah, but this is the trade. It'd be James Paxton and Tyler Matzek. Or it'd be Joe Panic and Tyler Matzek for James Paxton. The reason I like this trade is because Paxton and Panic are actually uh, almost at identical service times. And they're pretty much in similar spots. They've had good years in the past, but are struggling a little bit this year. And I think both could probably use a change of scenery. So if we picked up Paxton, then we could make our rotation. Um, we could put we'd put Gray in for Chatwood and maybe uh, put Montero in the bullpen as well. Might do that. And could possibly spot start uh, some guys in for Kluber or whatever if we needed to. We'd have Lyles. Yeah, all right. So I think we'll do this trade. We'll get James Paxton. Pirates get a middle infielder. Players disappointed to see Joe Panic leave. Oh, well. Sorry. All right, but we do get Sonny Gray, which is nice. And we get James Paxton. So really trying out a bunch of different things. with Pretty much just throwing crap against the wall at this point with our rotation. And we'll put Paxton there. When, when can Gray pitch? Right, he can pitch tomorrow. Ryu is due up. Okay, so we'll do Ryu. Then Gray, whoops. Then Kluber, I guess. Then Lyles, Paxton. Oh, let's uh, let's switch Paxton and Kluber. All right, so we'll do that. So this will be our rotation. Uh, we'll put Chatwood and Montero in the bullpen. Um, yeah, I also feel like if we really wanted to, we could go out and get a reliever. But I don't want to give up anything for a reliever. I'd really rather just get a reliever, like for cheap. Um. I don't know, Brad, Brad Brack and Nick Muntz have both been pretty good this year. Um, oh, man, we should trade Colin McHugh. 
Uh, yeah, I feel like we should probably trade Colin McHugh at this point. See if we can get a reliever for him. All right, so here's what we could do for Colin McHugh. I see Jared Cozart and Lance Lynn there. Andrew Kashner as well. So some other good starter options, but uh, those guys are listed as relievers. I think McHugh might actually be listed as a reliever too, but it's important uh, to be listed as one if you're actually going to pitch in the bullpen because um, no, he's actually listed as a starter. Because um, the way your like, stamina re re-energizes or whatever uh, is different if you're a starter or a reliever. So Cozart, um, whoops. All right, he, we could have one more year of team control over him. He's been good in the past. He's up for a good game of cards. Lance Lynn. Ooh, he's having a really good year. Huh. He's making a lot of money, though. In Kashner, free agent after this year, has not been very good. Um, all right, so I say we get Jared Cozart. All right, we'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully Cozart can help us out in the bullpen a little bit. Um, all right, and then... Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe Paxton will stick, and uh, hopefully Lyles will stick too. Next year, I think I want to clean out my rotation a bit, and uh, definitely build it around Fernandez and Sonny Gray, and then sort of see what they do from there. I think that's the long-term plan with the rotation. We sort of got two of our cogs, and now we need to uh, start building around them, whereas I think before we sort of tried to do the opposite and bring in guys like Kluber and Ryu. So, all right. That is going to do it for this episode, though. That's the only move we're going to make for our bullpen. And uh, that is that. So nine games out. If we get close in September, I'll make a video for that. Make a little pen and chase video like I did last time. But other than that, that's it for me. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. And I'm out. Peace.